Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you again for joining me for another Cleaning Motivational. This video is going to be a long one for you guys. I get asked quite often to put out longer videos more than I do the shorter ones. So I've been trying to get more long ones out for you guys and pack them full of so much stuff, which means I typically will film for a couple days rather than just a one evening or one afternoon kind of filming just so I can pack so much stuff in. This one is a get ready with me as well as grocery shopping, cleaning my kitchen, um, tackling my living room, as well as putting away mass amounts of laundry, getting my spare room started for when my in-laws come this next weekend. Well, they'll actually be here when this video comes out. I filmed this before I went to Dallas, and as you can tell, I'm a little raspy. I came back. I lost my voice. I had a really good time um, out there, and I ended up losing my voice because we had to talk really loud over some really loud music. We went to an 80s live band concert and it was really awesome and I ended up losing my voice from all the singing and the talking really loud so excuse me for my raspy voice. We're also going to be putting Tennyson's bed together in this video and you get to see her reaction to that and see her new room. So let's go ahead and get started and jump into this clean with me as well as like a day in the life. There's a cute little anecdotes throughout the video and just kind of show you guys what my day-to-day -day looks like. So let's go ahead and jump into this. If you like this kind of content, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and always remember to hit that bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads. I had gotten up really early this morning. My husband went to the gym about 4 a.m. before he went to work. I believe this was on, I want to say a Friday when I started this. So he had work that day. And he, got, he always gets up for the gym at 4. And my daughter, about 4.45, just decided that she was up for the day. So we got up at 5.45, went downstairs, got our breakfast, or got our like our milk and my coffee. And we came back upstairs. And she was playing in my room while I was getting ready. And so I'm going to walk you guys through the process of me getting ready. I'll slightly show you guys what I'm using. Nothing has changed. It's just drugstore makeup, nothing crazy. And I'm going to do my hair very simply as well.
I could have been Thinking I would know What the future bring All the highs and lows Said I'm gonna win Though the world might spin Now I'm sitting here like I'm no Tennyson wanted to get ready, so we went ahead and went to her room and got her a dress on, which I really wasn't sure she was going to be able to wear a dress this day because I knew it was going to be a little chilly. But to keep her entertained, I let her pick the dress she wanted. I went ahead and did her hair in the style she chose, which is this cute little kind of like three bubble top on both sides, kind of split on the middle. And she asked me to do the same thing with my hair. I had never done it to myself before, so I went to try and do it. And my husband came in and was like, uh, like, it's a little frizzy, but it's cute, like, but... Nah. And I was like, okay. So I just went ahead and did my my usual hairdo, but you'll see me do like the down middle part, which I hate a down middle part on myself. So I knew I wasn't going to like the hairstyle to begin with. I might try it again in a later date and see if I can do it better. But I have so much like new hair growth that it just sticks straight up. So there's just no way that hairstyle is going to look great on me because I can't get the baby hairs to stay down.
it's now time to come downstairs and start doing breakfast. Tennyson had requested yogurt. It's pretty much her usual. In the morning, she loves yogurt or Cheerios with milk in the morning. And sometimes she'll just do like dry Cheerios with some like freeze-dried yogurt bites. Kind of just depends on what she's feeling. Sometimes she even skips breakfast. Um, but this morning she wanted um, yogurt, but she doesn't like the strawberry chunks in it, but it's her favorite flavor is the strawberry banana of the Yoplait, but she doesn't like the strawberry chunks. So I have to fish out the strawberry chunks. I'm going to go ahead and let her eat while I go ahead and prepare to get the kitchen cleaned up. This is what I do pretty much every morning, no matter what. Just roll your sleeve up so you don't get me over here now. Ready? Take that. You're welcome. Yogurt. Is it? Yogurt good. Don't push back in your chair. Abu. 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 Right, eat your yogurt. I'll start cleaning the kitchen, okay? Take your kitchen, Mommy Penny. How about you eat breakfast? I'm gonna clean up the kitchen and we can clean the living room together. Okay. Okay.
my typical morning routine. I do this almost every morning while Tennyson's having breakfast. When she finishes breakfast, I hand her one of my old cell phones and I let her watch either like Blippi or some of those Coca Melon videos on my phone. Sometimes she even likes to play puzzle games. She doesn't play the puzzle games that are for her age range. She plays the ones that I play like Bloxy, Hexablocks. Um, she likes to do those big jigsaw puzzles. She's not into a lot of the kitty games. She likes the more complex puzzles and she's actually really good at it. So she'll sit there and play on her phone um, or my phone for a little while while I get the kitchen done. And once the kitchen is all cleaned, we'll head into the living room and typically start cleaning in there. And then I get my whole downstairs vacuumed. morning routine of cleaning my sink but I went ahead and gave a good deep clean on it since it was a Friday. I really deep cleaned my sink on the weekend. Friday is technically a weekend day for me so I went ahead and just gave the sink a deep clean today so I didn't have to do it again this weekend. Another way to say this, but I think, I think 
talking to each other I know we feel the same About the situation Like we're stuck inside a game Time to get out of this circle Yeah, we both carry a scar Let's rewrite the part we're playing Time to cherish who we are The only thing I ever wanted Starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we've done before Oh, oh, yeah Now it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away I really wish that I was that mom that after the kids went to bed, my one child, and my husband, I could stay up and clean my kitchen and my living room. But by the end of the evening, I literally have zero energy or I'm doing YouTube stuff until Tizen goes to bed. And sometimes I'll stay up a little later, just plug my headphones into my computer and I'll work after they're asleep. But I actually enjoy getting up in the morning and having my day start off this way with cleaning my kitchen, then going into my living room, getting everything organized, getting everything vacuumed, and starting my morning off that way. It feels really accomplished, and I don't know, it just gets my day started. It makes me feel less lazy. Like, when I get up in the morning and my living room's clean and my kitchen's clean, I'll just sit down and drink my coffee, and then I'll get lost in a TV show for like an hour or so, and then I just feel extra lazy for the rest of the day. So I know it's kind of odd to get up in the morning and have to do all this cleaning, but it's just the way I just kind of enjoy it. It's motivating for me to get more stuff done throughout the day, like laundry and errands ran and things like that, once I start my day off already moving, just like as if my husband goes to the gym. He likes to go to the gym in the morning before work because it, it helps him like jumpstart his day. That's how cleaning is for me. It just completely jumpstarts my day and gets me in a really good mood. So we've been up since, I would say about 4.45. It's now turning nine o'clock. And I just got done finishing up cleaning the living room and the kitchen. And while I was vacuuming the living room, I noticed that my poor vacuum was having a really hard time um, with the filter. So I'm gonna go ahead and change out the filters. I'm gonna clean my vacuum real quick and then I'm gonna start a load of laundry. And then we'll kind of see where the day goes. I'm waiting for my husband to let me know if he'll get off around lunchtime. And if he does, then I am going to go ahead and go to the commissary and do my grocery run for the weekend and get everything I need for meal prepping on Sunday, as well as just regular groceries for the house. And then when I get back, I'll probably edit and stuff. And then throughout the weekend, probably today is Friday. So um, probably throughout the week, I will... Or the weekend, I'll be cleaning like upstairs and doing things like that. Um, we're putting Tennyson's BED together. It's a surprise and she's right here. So we're putting that together this weekend and getting her room set up. I still need to order some bed rails and stuff to put on it, but we're going to go ahead and start doing that this weekend as well. So I'll take you guys along for that. I need to get all her bedding washed. I need to get her laundry done. 
as well as a load for us. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into cleaning my vacuum and changing out the filters to hopefully help it um, run a little better. You can always tell when your shark vacuum needs to be, the filters can be cleaned out or changed because it'll make a, like a high whistling noise. And that's like when you've reached that full point, like, oh no, like it's really dirty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then after that, we're gonna go ahead and start in a load of laundry. And then I'll just see where the day goes. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. To go ahead and clean my vacuum, I'm just gonna be using a grocery bag. I'm gonna cut all the hair off of the brush. I can't wait to one day own the shark that has the removable hair on its own off the brush because it really drives me crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up. I'm gonna wash all the washable pieces into my sink. I will try and link the video above here for you guys. It's pretty old, so I gotta find it. I'll link it above if you guys want a true walkthrough of how to clean a shark vacuum, like taking it apart, fully cleaning it, and putting it back together. I have a full tutorial on that in one of my videos. I'll go ahead and link it above if I can find that video for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything washed in the sink. Just get my vacuum ready for this weekend because I have a bunch of cleaning I wanna do and a bunch of vacuuming. So I just wanna make sure that my vacuum is up to par and ready to go. Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone, I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me and close the door Baby, pull me closer now before it's over I just wanna love you a little bit more, oh I know that it's difficult dealing with emotions But I want you to know That you'll always be on my mind Even in the hard times I care about you how do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me and close the door. Baby, pull me closer now before it's over. curiosity did Grove change their wooden handles for these brushes because the heads no longer fit on my handles they seem to be too small so I'm curious do I have like an outdated handle I need to buy new ones because I don't use them often but like I just can't get the head to go onto my handle properly and fully click in Get you out of my head Don't know how to cope with being so broken Girl, I can't forget about what you said I just wanna love you a little bit more Don't just walk away from me and close the door Baby, pull me closer now before it's over I just wanna love you Seem to have the time, but when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. 
we should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words repeat, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves, it's deja vu. Set up a stage of lights Say we're done, say it's over Shouldn't be coming back But somehow we connect Acting drunk even though we're sober We should be good but we keep lighting fires The words you keep cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves We should be good It's deja vu Okay, so I just started that little laundry. I still have this basket. I got a little bit of tens down here and I'll bring her other stuff down. I have like her mattress protector and I have like a, a decorative throw I want to wash as well as like her sheets and her new like blanket for her bed. So I'm gonna run this load or the next load. I'll probably run her clothes and then I'll run all her bedding and stuff to get it all ready for the weekend. So lots of laundry today. I'm so glad that my washer and my dryer are super clean now so that everything should wash really nicely. So we're gonna go ahead and sit down. Ten says she wanted to take a nap. So we're gonna sit down and see if she does that. If she does, I have a lot of laundry. Um, on my bed right now that needs to be put away. So if she goes down, I'll tackle the upstairs laundry. And if she doesn't, then we'll just wait around until dad gets off work and just rotate laundry throughout the day. All right, 10 a.m. for a nap. I accidentally fell asleep with her for about mm, 30 minutes or so. Like I sometimes just get so comfy and I fall asleep. So I accidentally fell asleep for a little bit on the couch with her. She's down there sleeping and watching Cinderella. Not really watching it, but it's on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start tackling this laundry on my bed. There's quite a bit of it right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. I still need to get all of this stuff out of my um, hallway. It's been sitting there forever, like, ooh. So I'm gonna try and take care of some of this stuff today and just try to, try to find places to put things. Our garage is completely disorganized. It's starting to get warmer out. So hopefully we can start tackling the garage here soon. Um, I'll save my husband's up for it maybe next weekend and do it. If not, we'll do it when my, my in-laws leave. But I need to get the garage straightened up and organized and start getting rid of some stuff because we're hoarding so much stuff out there. So I'll tackle this laundry. My husband's on his way home. Um, so when I get done with this, I'll run to the commissary, do my grocery shopping for the day. I'll come home and I want to meal prep a breakfast casserole tonight so that we have breakfast for the weekend. I don't have to worry about getting up in the morning and making breakfast for the family. They can just open the fridge, throw it in the microwave, and they have stuff for the weekend so that the whole weekend I can spend cleaning and doing whatever I want to do. I might take a whole day off of cleaning and just edit a video. Um, I might clean all weekend. That's the best part about being a stay-at-home mom. My schedule is very flexible. I can do whatever I want. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this laundry, take you guys along with me, and then we'll go grocery shopping. I won't be filming that, but I can show you the grocery haul when I get back. We're falling out. We have reached disaster. Don't know where we're going to be after. And we do it all again and again and again and again. Again and again and again and again. We're falling, 
falling down, we faded. But I know, I know that we can save it. Cause we're like Alpha and Omega. Whatever happens, doesn't matter. I know we can sort it out, Alpha and Omega. My husband had just walked in and let me know he was home for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up doing this laundry and then I'm gonna run to the grocery store. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you guys will have seen that we got rid of a lot of stuff out of our garage. I mentioned it previously in this video that I wanted to try and tackle that soon. Well, on this weekend, we ended up finding out last minute that the Sunday of that weekend was the bulk dump pickup, which means that the base will have some like, e like extra trash trucks some trailers and things that come out and pick up all your bulk items that you need to be taken to the dump. You can put out things as big as um, mattresses, couches, big old furniture, it doesn't matter, and then anything you just need to get rid of, you put out, and then you can also post singular boxes of things where it's like, hey, I purged this. If anyone wants to come by and check out my house and look through my dump stuff, you can come check it out and grab what you want off my curb. And when people do, we actually ended up picking up a basketball hoop, for Tennyson from someone's dump pickup and then we picked up some like chicken wire to go ahead and fix um, our backyard where Nash has run a rut into the back fence and needs to be reseated and all that stuff. So we, we, we also went around, picked stuff up. I even picked up books from random people, just all kinds of stuff. People just dump so much stuff and some of it is just really worthy of picking up. And it's really fun to see everyone just kind of parading their vehicles around the whole neighborhood, just picking up the dump stuff. And it was really refreshing to be able to get rid of almost over half of the items in my garage. And then once my in-laws leave, we're gonna seriously tackle our garage. I'm so excited to get that place completely cleaned up and super organized, and I hope it turns out as well as my, I'm envisioning it to be. I really wanna get some shelves, some bins, and just really, really organize that space. Like the waves pull you down underwater We're fun until we hit the bottom And we do it all again and again and again and again Okay y'all, I feel like I am having the most Mondayest Friday ever So I get out of the house, I'm really excited to go shopping I have plans to make taco salads this week for my husband And I get to the commissary and all the romaine lettuce just looks terrible and I can't find any lettuce that looks good so I'm frustrated. So I gotta change up my whole meal plan and just find something easy to make because the commissary was out of like so much stuff and I was so frustrated. So I'm leaving the commissary and I'm about to pull out and turn left to like go to the BX and this truck does not have its turn signal on. So I was like, okay, it's just gonna keep going so I can just whip right behind it and take the side street like not a big deal he stops in front of me like full-on stops has a signal like turns his signal on raises his arms up at me like I'm the wrong person like you never had your signal on never you almost made me wreck my car like I was so scared so there's that so then I get to the BX and like I'm like okay I just gotta run in look at baby gates I need some foundation grab some Taco Bell head home like let's do this and I run into the the BX and I stumble across like so many cute clothes for like 4th of July and stuff and they don't have any of 10 size and I was like well that's sad because like those are really cute dresses I would love to buy her some cute dresses from today like I just wanted to they didn't have a single one in her size so I went over the baby gates and I'm looking at them taking pictures from my husband because we're gonna put a baby gate up in her doorway of her room so that when she wanders because she seems to wander sometimes when she's sleeping um, kind of like sleepwalking so we're gonna put a baby gate up in front of our door so that she doesn't walk down the stairs. Um, so I'm looking at the baby gates and I'm going through them and there's some pretty heavy ones and stuff. And then I move one baby gate and the entire section comes tumbling down and just scatters across the baby section. So loud and so embarrassing, like so embarrassing. And like I, inst I instantly just like, I know that I was blushing. Like I had to be the color of my shirt even redder. Um, and this, this older lady comes around the corner, she's like, you all right? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay, just having the most Monday as Friday ever. And she was like, well, I hear that. She was like, if you need help, let me know, I'll be over here in the shoe section. And I was like, I'm fine. Oh, it's so embarrassing. 
So I put all the baby gates back up there and that's when I realized that there's nothing that holds them up. They're just standing. So that's bad on their part. It's a danger because some of those gates were metal and heavy. So I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna forget the baby gates, walk away from it, act like it didn't happen. Go get your foundation and then go get lunch. As I'm walking towards a makeup section, I start noticing people are looking at me funny, like really funny. Sorry, that's a plane. So look at me really funny and it dawned on me I'm not wearing a mask and here on base it's mandatory still like in Utah I think we're gonna stop wearing them like April 30th or something like that but like on base it's still very mandatory you have to wear you can't be in stores and I just instantly got like embarrassed again because I wasn't wearing a mask so I run to my car I grab a mask and I say forget the foundation I'm not going back into the store like I'm gonna go get Taco Bell so I went and got Taco Bell and now I'm headed home. I'm just like, man, what a Monday. And it's only Friday. Like, oh, it was so bad. But I had to tell you guys. So I'm going to bring my groceries in. I'm about to pull into my neighborhood now. I'm going to pull my groceries in. Um, I'm going to eat lunch first and I'll do the grocery haul. I kind of want to go ahead and clean out my fridge before I put all my new groceries back into it. But I'm going to kind of put stuff away for a second and then eat lunch. And then I'll show you guys my grocery haul. And then... I don't know if I'm going to continue cleaning today. I'm going to be running laundry and stuff. I'll kind of show you guys that. But after that adventure, I think I'm just going to chill out for a little bit after lunch. And just kind of see how my day goes. If I feel like jumping back into cleaning. Because that was just like... For me, that's crazy. Because I don't have any eventful like things that happen. I'm still blushing. I was so, I was so embarrassed. Like, I was so embarrassed. Anyways, let's move on with the day. I'll show you guys my groceries once we get done with lunch. Okay, we're gonna go through all this. So I picked up some Hillshire Farms smoked hot sausage. I haven't tried this one before, but I thought it might be delicious. So I picked up two of those and I got those for red beans and rice. I just got the Zatarans because I wanna make it easy. I was supposed to do taco salads, like I said, for my husband this week for like a dinner or lunch option, but they didn't have the stuff. So I'm gonna try and do this for him, just have something easy. I also picked up some top brown steak. I got two of them to do pepper steak this week. I have an onion here. I picked up some more uh, green chilies because I always have those on hand. Rotel, I always have on hand. Uh, chicken little soups, my daughter's favorite. And then just some classic uh, spaghetti sauce. I got some banana peppers for pizza. And I pick up two of these almost every time I go. I love the white queso from Tostitos. For breakfast, for 10, we got these Yoplait's. She's obsessed with yogurt in the morning. My husband has this unreal addiction to the unfrosted strawberries. I will never understand it. I like the frosted kind, but they never sell them on base. I can only ever find them at Walmart. So I found these and I got them for him. He likes to put butter on them and then bake them in the oven. And honestly, they're absolutely delicious that way. They taste good this way. And with the brown sugar, um, ones as well. They're so good. Um, two milks for my daughter and Tabasco because I live off of it. Two teas. I got a bottle of wine. I picked up just some stir fried peppers for pepper steak. These are like my all time favorite snack, like lunch easy thing for me. The extra crunchy Southwest chicken taquitos are absolutely amazing. They have spinach and all kinds of good stuff in it. And then I picked up, oh no. Well, the pizzeria pizzas are my favorite, but I got thin. I really wanted the other one, but hopefully this will still taste good. I like the, the really thick pizza. I got two of those. Sad they're thin. This day is just getting so much more fun. Um, I also picked up some penne pasta because I'm out. And I picked up some thin spaghetti because we're out as well. This is mine and my husband's favorite cereal. It's absolutely delicious. And then minute rice because we can never have enough rice in our house. Ten loves to have these for lunch, super quick and easy sometimes. Just to whip that in the microwave and she has something quick and easy. Picked up two taco seasonings. If you guys go to your store and you see that they sell the hot taco in McCormick, let me know. Because I'm starting to wonder if it's discontinued or if my commissary just doesn't carry it anymore. It's driving me crazy. I found this fiery sriracha lime and garlic seasoning from Tasty. I'm going to try and put it on some chicken and just bake the chicken for my husband to see if he likes that. Um, I picked up two brown gravies and two onion gravies. That's for pepper steak and just to have on hand in general. I also picked up some country gravy. I like the Pioneer because it tastes so good. 
over biscuits and gravy, and I might use it for the breakfast casserole just to have a little gravy on the side because I love gravy on everything. I also picked up some of these Snyder's pretzel pieces. My husband likes the hot buffalo. And then I also grabbed two of the Stacy's pita chips and the fire roasted because we have hummus in the fridge already. So easy, quick snacks, super simple run, nothing crazy. Just a quick run for the week to get us through stuff. So now I'm gonna put it all away. I was gonna clean my fridge, but my phone is at like 15%. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this away and then I'm gonna relax for a little bit. I might go start editing the video. This was come out this Wednesday because um, I halfway edited it. I'm gonna finish it. And my husband has tennis out for a walk. She no joke, slept from, she went down for a nap about 10 o'clock and she was still sleeping when I got home from the commissary at one. That's a long time, but she did get up at like 4.30 this morning. So, but she went to bed at like eight. So I don't know why she's so tired. Maybe she's growing, I don't know. Her birthday is this month, she's turning three. So maybe she's just extra tired and growing, but she slept forever and then she decided she wanna go for a walk. So they're out for a walk with the dog and I'm gonna put all this stuff away and I'm just gonna, jump into editing my video. I didn't need to switch the laundry over and start another load. So we'll get that done. And then I might see you guys later this, this weekend. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks. And I feel misplaced without you. Why don't we go back to, why don't Okay, so we are on day two of cleaning my whole house and I leave for Dallas next weekend and I'm trying to get my whole house clean because my in-laws are coming the week after I get back. So I only have like a few days when they get back to make sure my house is like completely spotless. So today we're gonna go ahead and start in my spare room. If you look around, there's like laundry, three baskets of it already folded. I have this box over here, right here. I'm gonna get rid of all those hangers and get rid of. I need to get all this bedding stuff over here and put away and then hopefully by the time I get this room done Tennyson will be down for her nap because we want to get her bed put up and put together today we have all of her bedding washed her room's clean I just need to get her bed put together and when she wakes up from her nap she'll be surprised so I'm gonna start with this room I'm gonna strip the bed first I'm gonna put all this laundry away because I need one of the baskets to take to my stairs to bring everything that's on my drop zone of stairs and put those in the rooms they belong to. I'm gonna give this room a good dusting, get it really vacuumed, clean the windows, all that stuff, because this is where my in-laws will be staying when they come. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this started and then we'll move on to probably Tennyson's room if she goes down for a nap here soon. Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to your bedroom?
but you It was only one night, only that time And it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this Cause now I dream about you I was probably too drunk, it's blurry But I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now And it could fade away But it probably won't And I should let it be But I'm gonna dive, dive into you And maybe I'll drown, but what can I do? And it would be alright to let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide So I'm gonna dive, dive into you It doesn't even make sense Why we try to fight it So in this box is mostly my shoes and just some random things. There was a red bin that's in there that has gone from house to house with us for so long. And it's had the same contents in the same bin forever. And it's all my husband's stuff. And it's never been like rifled through or anything. So finally I took it downstairs and I was like, babe, this has to be cleaned out. Pick out what you need. Pick out what you want. I'm tired of having this bin. Please just do what you got to do with it. And luckily he did. He picked out like four items out of it that he actually needed to keep. Everything else went to the trash. So grateful that that got taken care of. I feel like throughout this past like year, I've been doing so good with decluttering that I want to continue doing it. Every time I find something that I just feel is a hassle, just get rid of it, declutter it, and move on. Okay, so we've hit a point where I thought I could give you guys a quick overview of the room. I forget how nice and large this room is for the fact that it's kind of a spare room. Um, it actually has, is a decent size, but I forget because this is a room that gets like everything gets dropped in, things get done in, laundry's in, and then I had boxes of stuff that I still hadn't unpacked. And I think I have a solution for that shoe box. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna take Tennyson's cubicle out of her little cube shelf out of her room. Cause we think we wanna move the dresser underneath her window, get rid of one of her cubes, just open up her room a little more cause her room is very tiny. So I think I'm gonna take that cube, put it in my room next to my bed and just get some boxes uh, or some bins and I'll order those on Amazon this week. And then I will take all the shoes out of that box and actually get them organized and put away. Um, but for now, I'm gonna give you guys an overview real quick of the room and then we're gonna start doing the dusting and cleaning of it. But I just wanna show you guys how much floor space, how much floor space this room has because I don't remember ever because it's always just so stuffed full of stuff. So I'm real excited to see how much floor space this room actually has. So this whole area right here opened up. There used to be a box there, um, a basket, and then the, what you would call it, the ironing board. So like it makes this whole walkway just feel so much bigger. And then it just feels larger here without having that pregnancy pillow on the floor and all that stuff that was sitting over there. And then once those baskets are right here, this whole walkway will be clear. And it just opens up the space. And of course, taking my lighting kit out really opens up this side of the room, which I always planned on trying to find a better storage system for them. But I never wanted to put it in the garage because it's too hot. But man, this room just looks so much bigger without a bunch of stuff on the floor. Go figure. But even just looking at it from this corner over here, 
it just doesn't look so jam-packed even though it does like this out this alcove just drives me crazy because it makes the room feel small and you have all this empty space over here that you literally can't use anything in because the door opens up and you can't put anything there so it's just a waste of space it's just empty space and i feel like that's how all the rooms are here but let's go ahead and jump into getting all these tables dusted the beds clean the windows and all that good stuff and we'll get this room put back together Okay, Ten just went down for her nap. I stopped cleaning the spare room and we're gonna put her bed together. We decided to put it on this wall. We're getting the box that says no box spring bed frame. We have a box spring. So we're gonna see what we need to do, but we're gonna go and put this together and I'll get her room straightened. By taking this out and moving her dresser from over here under the window. So let's go ahead and get started.
this bed was supposed to be incredibly easy to put together. Just a few screws and a couple like screws with nuts and bolts and stuff. And this bed frame right here where the center is, it's supposed to just easily lock into these slide posts. Like you just slide it in. I watched the video before I purchased it and then I watched the video again when we were struggling to put it together to make sure we were doing it right. Like something had to have been wrong what we were doing because I know how easy it was supposed to put together. Everything just slides, you screw it in. Super simple. It was not working for us. We ended up having to hammer in these middle slots because something was off like a couple centimeters on the inside where the lock brackets were. And when we went to put like those, um, the bed rails across the, the two bed rails, um, that hold the bed up. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what the pieces are called, but everything was so warped and it was just a hassle and I just couldn't get anything to fit properly. And I just think the, the metal work in this bed frame was not done properly and it just kind of made me sad. And I had a bed picked out before I, I bought this one that I really wanted and I chose not to get it. I went with this one because of the measurements were a little bit smaller and the price was a little bit cheaper just by a couple like 20 to 30 bucks. So I went with this one and when this one came in, it was supposed to be full on black, um, brushed metal black, but it came in like a grayish color, almost kind of like a steel gray. So I was a little disappointed in the color. I was upset with the fact that it wasn't easily put together. When we go to take this bed apart, it's never gonna come apart properly because we had to hammer the middle slots in together. So it's never gonna come apart properly. So eventually I would like to buy a new bed for her and get one that might be able to use her box spring and things like that. But this one's gonna do for now and in a, I don't know, maybe a year or so, I'll go ahead and look into a new bed and get the actual one that I really want. But I am in love with raw iron, old school style looking beds. I would love to have one for my room one day. And we'll see how that goes because my husband's not like super keen on them, but I absolutely love them. I think the style is beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and finish putting this bed together and then we'll get her whole room put together. She's gonna wake up from her nap. She's kind of groggy and just not really corresponding with us very well because she's a little groggy, but she absolutely loves her room. We spend so much time in here now. And tonight, when I'm recording this, she's actually spending her first night um, in her room. I just laid her down. We put her baby gate up, and I'm actually using the pregnancy pillow right now as her barrier around her bed so she doesn't fall off. And eventually we'll get her her bed rail. Um, I just haven't ordered it yet because I forgot, I forgot to. But I went ahead and used my pregnancy pillow, and she's in there tonight. And it's just like the sweetest thing knowing that she's in there. And I hope she spends a really good evening in there and hope she sleeps through the night. I'll keep you guys updated on that. Discovered, didn't care for one another, you and I, you and I, thought I was okay, till something in me changed, don't know why, don't know why, you got me high, but I'm sober, you make me lonely when I'm by myself.
covered Didn't care for one another You and I You and I Thought I lost my way But you washed out all the way Don't know why Don't know why You got me high but I'm sober Okay, we just finished emptying the room out. I didn't vacuum anything, she's sleeping, and I am officially like just frustrated. Excuse this bad patchwork. Um, but everything's in here. I'm really upset about the bed. Everything came extremely warped. It was really hard to put together. We had to use hammers. I even looked up the video of how to put it together and supposedly the pieces was to slide super easy together. They did not slide easy together. Everything was just warped. So I do not suggest this bed for anybody, but it is gonna work for us for now. So I'm gonna go and give you guys a quick overview of the room, kind of just show you what's new and what I purchased and kind of how we have it set up for right now. So let's go ahead and turn the camera around and I'll show you guys. Okay, so I went ahead and kept this there. She's got a chair downstairs. I'm gonna bring and replace that for her little sloth. This is just her laundry I gotta get taken care of. So we moved the dresser to underneath this window, which I really love the way that looks with the uh, curtains around it. This is gonna stay here for now. I really think I want to try to change it, but and like center the bed and put it on this wall. But we're, for right now, we have the bed up against the wall because the mattress slides really easily on this base. And so we still have to get a rail because it is a very high bed, um, which we didn't account for. But um, I'm going to get a bed rail for this side and then it'll just stick against the wall for now. I moved this basket over here and she's got these three new books that we haven't read yet. So I went ahead and added some blankets and some books by the side of her bed since we do read before bed. I picked up this cute throw. I don't know if you can see the color as well, but it's like that. I can't even get the color because of the lighting. Is that better? It reminds me of Tennyson's bathroom where it's the dusty rose pink and then i got and i got all this stuff from amazon or target one of the two i'll look it up but i got this nice fluffy kind of reminds me of like an alpaca um blanket in a cream color i got these sheets from i believe amazon they're from california locally made in california and then it just comes with the one pillowcase she's had this pillow since um her nursery so i've just kept it in here so this is what her bed looks like over here in this corner. Yeah, it mostly matches like this pink one and the top pink one. I was trying to stay away from the coral because I kind of want to replace the coral ones eventually, but I like the way it looks. So let me give you guys another view from this side of it all together. It's blowing my mind that I have a child old enough to have a twin bed. She will be three next week, so that's her room. Ready? Sit. Okay. Sit. Open them. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Uh -huh. yeah. Max, downstairs. Go. Do you like it? Go look at it. It's your bed. Do you yeah. like your bedroom? A bed's as big as you, huh? Open your eyes. Want a quick crawl? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll read those tonight. Those are new books. Crawl up there. Can you crawl up there? Do you think you can? Try it. Try. She just woke up. Like I carried her to the bathroom and everything. Come on. Can you get up? I want to see if you can. I'm going to get you a stool for up here. What do you think? Don't no. jump. No jumping. You like it? Nice. Can you bit roll bed? 
Are you happy with it? Yeah. Penny's happy. Do you want to try it out? Want to try laying down? All right. Night night, Penny. Night night. Night night. What do you think? Is it good? You look good in it. Penny's big girl bed. Do you like, do you like this blanket? I like this one right there. Yeah, it's yours. It's your new blanket. Happy birthday! Here. Can I go throw me down and I'll cover you? Go ahead. This was the plan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so nice. Cozy. You finally get to sleep in your bed, Ten. Do you want to sleep in here tonight? Yeah. Yeah? Yes, I do. Yes, you do? Yeah. Freak me out. We'll do those tonight. I got those out for reading for bedtime tonight. New books for bedtime. New books, new bed, new blankets. New room, new room, new baby. All right. Nice. This thing is staticky. Yeah, I didn't use dryer sheets on any of her stuff. All right, y'all, that is it for this video. I really hope that you guys got motivated, enjoyed spending a day in the life with us, as well as watching Tennyson enjoy her first look at her new bedroom. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And remember to hit that notification so you don't miss any future uploads. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. <laughs>